It is June 12th of 2024 and Unify Network Application 8.2.93 has been released. This brings us a dedicated DNS page, some advanced ACL rules, and I want to mention the U7 Pro Max. Now, this is not a review specifically of it, but I want to show how that integrates into the 8.2.93. And I want to mention their new firewalls and some of the new features they've come out with. I want to give kind of a status and position in here in June of 2024 of where Unify is. So let's get started. Now we're going to start here at the release notes, which you'll find linked down below for the Unify Network application 8.2.93. I updated this several days ago. I had no issues at all. It was released actually 13 days ago. And being that it's only a point release, I didn't expect that many problems. The really big thing to talk about here is, of course, DNS records. It is great that they updated the ECL rules. They added multi-link operation, BGP, and the inspection page. But the DNS records are the one we're going to talk about the most in just a moment. One thing worth noting, though, is the BGP, where I was a little bit confused at first when it updated, I was looking for it and couldn't find it. It does say down here that it requires version 4.1, which is a little strange because 4.1 isn't even early access right now. So they put it in there, but didn't expose it until you get the Unified Cloud Gateway to 4.1. Not really a big deal, but you know, at least we know it's on the roadmap and it's much closer. So it's a little bit of a teaser saying that it's here, uh, but I don't have a lot of requests for BGP. Uh, so I'm not that worried about it. The DNS is something that I could probably get many more requests for. Now, one nice feature of this version is the updated inspection page. You can see if something was blocked by a firewall rule, an ad block, or you can also filter it to see such as when the threat detection was triggered so you understand what device and the reason something was unreachable. It helps you drill down a lot easier. Now let's switch over to my Unify Express Lab. It is still running Unify OS 403, but of course it does have the latest version of the Unify network application. So we can go over here and click the gear icon, head over to routing, and there's our DNS. It allows us to create two different types of host records, MX records, text records, SRV records, or even forward a domain. So you can give a specific domain and have a specific server that answers for it. This is something that I felt should be there a long time ago, but hey, I'm happy to see it here now especially for the home lab market who often does have, like I do, many custom DNS entries. Now switching over to my self-hosted instance where I have all of my unified devices, especially the ones I've been testing here, I wanna show the new features that we have with the U7 Pro Max. This is also a feature that is integrated seamlessly here that allows us to see different spectrums interference in real time. And what you're seeing here is the U7 Pro Max ability to see the spectrum on 2.4 or the 5 and create these animated waterfalls so you can see over time the interference in different areas. And we can do this also for the 6 gigahertz range. So instead of just seeing from a scanning standpoint a snapshot in time, you can watch these in real time with a 60 second rollback. This is actually a really nice feature to be able to look at your different environments, see what other noise is on there, list the other APs. And this is due to the U7 Pro Max having a dedicated antenna just for monitoring this. And this brings me to talking about the status of Unify here in June of 2024. Now, I just did a reliability talk about their hardware. We've deployed thousands of them commercially to a lot of clients, to projects that we've worked on, and we found their hardware very reliable. You'll find a video be talking about that down below. But their hardware's been much more capable under software for a long time. So it's nice seeing that the software is catching up to those features that are available and built in their hardware. I think this is some of the optimism where the hardware people can integrate a lot into these chips, but then the developers, it always takes longer than you think to get these features rolled out. It's not like they started working on them yesterday and threw them out there to build them, test them, make them reliable. Well, that takes time. But I do like the things I'm seeing, especially with their firewalls, things like shadow mode. Shadow mode Definitely, you know, high availability, they call it shadow mode, a little different, but hey, it's a great feature to have. They implemented it well. They made it really easy to set up. And that's an important feature. We like tools that are easy, that updates go smooth. And wow, their updates over the last few years have gone really smooth. You go back a few years and it was definitely rough and it's hard to get that impression they left on people, but that's really with any company. You know, your older versions, you know, had some missteps, if you will. But here today, I don't really think much about loading the updates. I don't brace for impact. I don't go, oh man, what's going to go offline if I do this? I just load the update and make sure all the controller shows up and all the devices are still in there and then go, eh, another update. Uh, what new features do we get? And start looking at it like I 
did right here and did this video. So uh, my overall feelings of where Unify is is very positive, but honestly, what do you think about Unify? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more from the channel. And of course, to stay tuned because I'm going to have to do some new Unify videos because those old ones I have are kind of irrelevant now because features exist that just didn't exist or couldn't be talked about uh, back then, even though you know, technically you can always hack away from the command line and do it. So go ahead and head over to my forums, forums.lawrencesystems.com to have a more in-depth discussion about this and other topics. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.